us up first. What's up, everybody? We are live down here in the bait cave tonight. That's right, swim baits. As you all can tell by the description, we got the big bass bash coming up. One of these might be the winning bait for 100K. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. I guarantee they'll catch the fish though. We got the lovely Miss Amanda, comment reader slash quality control slash production manager slash shipping manager slash <laughs> chef. So, yeah, snack. we're gonna make snack director. Snack director. Yeah. Let's see, Tyler's here. What up, Tyler? BJ's here. Chad Russell's here. Got some good old purple going on tonight. Good old purple purple. Jeff Carcel. I believe What's up? I sent a package after to yes. this morning. We are fully caught up on orders. We are out the door. So if you have ordered something in the last week, we're fixing the floor here. It's on your way. Bill Cry says, What's up? What's up, boys and girls? Welcome. Jim. Monday night, couldn't do this last <laughs> night, so here we are. I have not made your super secret worms yet, Tyler. No, she has not. I had to work, and I didn't expect to have to work today, so that's why I didn't get done. Up top again. So yes, we are making six inch swim baits, then we'll switch over, make some four inch swim baits. There you go. It's swimming time. Swimming time. We got the bash coming up, right? You got to change your mentality on how you're fishing. You're not fishing for five. You're fishing for one big bite. One hundred thousand dollar bait. That's right. If you. So for those of you that are new watching, one leave a comment saying that you're new. Thank you. Appreciate you tuning in. Two, share share this video right down here. One of those buttons. Go like the Riley right, Fields fishing page and all that good stuff. So, yes, $100,000, Big Bass Bash. If you don't know what it is, look it up. I think $200, you get to fish both days, and the overall biggest fish caught, 100 k uh, Money in your pocket. Mr. Vanderzeel says, what's up from Flooded Truman? I'll probably be there this coming weekend. Not that it'll do any good to fish it, because it's going down, but... I got to go fishing, man. How's it going, Jonathan? I got and, to go fishing. And Mike's here. Mike? Our, Mike who? Our jerky bait man. Oh, yeah. I need to uh, get him some colors. Mm -hmm. I've been busy. I've been down in Austin racing. Jeff Adams says he'll take some four inches if you make extras. Oh, uh, yeah. Six inches are not too bad to make, but four inches, I am not going to lie, is a pain in the ass. Because they are small, and as all of us boys know, hitting the hole can be a little difficult. There you go. <laughs> Which, as you say, I make them better. I do, because I'm OCD. Yes. She is. She will make sure that they are perfect. Perfect in the light. It drives me crazy when there's no glitter and there's bubbles. So usually if I have to do just a plain color with no glitter, I back you. She things. likes the sparkles. I do. I like sparkles. Hey, a different shirt. Yep, not wearing a hoodie. <laughs> I had to turn the air conditioner on in the house, all right? It was 80 degrees in here. She's done cooking and ugh, I'll sweat my uh, huevos off. What's the water temperature up here? I don't know. Probably 50. I wasn't on the lake this weekend. But probably 50. It sounds like everybody's catching them on a spinner rig. Jonathan Larson says he went to the Ozark Saturday, caught a lot, but only one good one that was four pounds. That's good. It is a good one. That, yep. will, that will probably get you some money at some point in time in a big bass bash. Might. So typically during the bash, if you didn't have a four pounder in a time slot, you didn't get any money. That's how good Lake of the Ozarks was fishing. But now you get to fish Lake of the Ozarks and Truman Lake. Right, you're gonna need a four and a half to five ones in there. Oh, we got a call from a telemarketer. Uh huh. <laughs> like we're busy. Yeah. We're making baits. 
So if you're ever wondering, if you're in bait making, all right, hand pour, right? That's what we're going to do. Whenever we get to do this, she'll grab the camera and move it over here. We'll do all that good stuff. Ooh, Table Rocks 58. It's if nice you got more. any questions on hand pour, drop a comment, share the video, all that good stuff. I'll answer any questions you've got. The only thing I don't give out is color recipes, unless they're generic. Everybody knows those. Did we have anybody, those new viewers? We got any new viewers tonight? Not yet. Well, you guys need to share the damn video. It's alright, I'm looking at you. Tim, Tim says they had three footers on Kissimmee and it still took 30 pounds to win. Like three foot waves. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. The wind gets blown up out of the south on that lake. Yeah, it would get, get to be a little fun. Is it cold in the basement? It looks cold. I don't know it's a little, you're... it's a little foggy looking. That's from the uh, lights. Whatever, LED lights and cameras—they don't work together too good. It is pretty chilly down here, though. I like it. Keeps me moving. No, Mike. I was at home. She was at home. I was in Austin this weekend. Yes, Mike. Yes. <laughs> Damn right. Your eye candy and mom jeans. Yeah. They were all young. If they were 22, I'd be surprised. They were very young. Girls wearing pants like up to here. That must be the new thing now. Like the 80s mom jeans. That's what I call it. That's, that's, that's coming back in style. And I'm just like... Nope. They were bad in the 80s and they're really bad now. Hi Ranger. So as you can see this is taking a while. In and out. In and out. Small quantities. Don't want to burn it. Don't want to scorch it. Right? Your swim bait colors generally don't have as much dye in them or whatever. They're very transparent. More opaque. So they take a little more heating up. A little more finesse. Typically I will pour my swim baits. Uh, okay let me back up first. Hot plate. Set it to just over 200. Make sure your molds, oh yeah, are toasty. They are ready. But I typically pour my stuff, and this is all personal preference, north time. of 350. I like my stuff to be pretty ready. Are you a hummingbird or a Garmin LifeScope fan? I have a Garmin LifeScope on my boat. All other three graphs are Lorenz. Ta da! That's all I got on that one. Scott Moser just placed a big ass order. Thank you very much, sir. That just popped up on my phone. Uh, da -da -da -da. Tyler Boyette is watching. I get that message over and over and over. Is that, is that showing up on your own screen? He's Tyler, happy. like, logs off, logs on, logs off, logs on. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure that I'm still here. I don't know what, what's going on. How's the feed? Feed look good? It should. I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. Mm. Kurt says, I have my first open pour mold. Any tips for a beginner? It's a four inch swim bait. Um, start with pouring single colors. Just a straight single color. That way you can learn. Is it, a, is it aluminum or is it, God, I don't want to call silicone. it silicone. Yeah, I want to call it synthetic. It's not synthetic. Start with just pouring single colors. Pearl white. Just get your pearl white. Get the feel for everything. It's been a while since I've made swim baits. I'm not going to lie. You guys have been having me cranking out cave crawls and all sorts of other stuff. That probably would have worked. But... Do you want me to start on your other two colors? No. Okay. I'll start on Okay, good and clear. Ooh. We've got a hello from Italy. We Italy. are worldwide. Oh, hey. Nice. Thank you for tuning in from Italy. Very nice. We are in central Missouri over here across the pond. Do fish see red or not? I don't know. Ask a fish. Depends on how much it's had to drink. <laughs> <But I'm... laughs> All right. This is going to be warm enough. It's going to work. All right, Brian Edward got his package today. Nice. 
Nick Barnett says, interested to see how you mix the swim baits to get that purple on top and the clear on bottom. He's deep. Stay tuned. So, pearl white, basically. Pearl white. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of steam. There's a lot of everything. Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Adams asked if you shipped his giveaway prize yet. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a no, Jeff. Giveaway prize? He won the last giveaway. No, I haven't shipped it. You haven't told me what you wanted. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill these just up to the top of the hook slot that's in the mold. Alright, Eric Grayson's is shout out from southeastern Michigan. Yo. Very nice. I used to live in central Michigan. Right. Good old Michigan. So this bait is three different colors. The bottom's a pearl white, the middle is a purple, and the top is going to be a black back with some color shift glitter in it. So when you like roll the, ball, roll the bait around, it'll kind of change colors on you on the top. This is not my uh, one of my five standard colors that I make on the website. How's it going, Danny? So this is part of why it takes so long to mix these. If you can tell, if you can peek in there, there's a little hole. So the microwave, even if you got it on the turntable and it's turning right, it likes to just heat the very, very center. That's why I do like 30 second bumps in real small quantities like that. Otherwise, it will fire. You need to get some dye on your bit. No, no, man. The girls like the white. All right, it is distinguished. She loves the white. That's right, my old Seminole, story, Oklahoma. Folks. I was just in Oklahoma. I came back from Austin, Texas today. All right, I uh, just got back from Texas. Literally, that's why we didn't do this last night, folks. So I have got my pearl white in here. My griddle is still at 200 degrees. It'll the stuff inside is actually cooling down even though it's still at 200 degrees because I poured my first layer at 360-ish. Now, you can go too fast with this. you got to let this bottom layer set up a little bit because if you pour your next layer real quick, the purple will literally like flow into the, into the pearl, the white pearl, and it's going to look like trash. So you need to let the, the pearl white set up a little bit so your next layer will actually lay right on top of it instead of mixing the other. So it's not like a swirl. Yes. You don't want to mix them together. But you still got to have them hot enough that they melt yes. together. So you don't have cold there cracking. You got, that's why 210, 220 is a real good temperature on the griddle. To keep it malleable but not liquid. Tyler says this is a Boyette special. I am bad with my words. I don't know the correct terminology. A Boyette special? Yes, mm -hmm. these are going to Mr. Boyette. Mm -hmm. so just do a little 30, 30 second bumps. Yep. So Nick says so it's similar to the concept of when you do the different colored pinchers, like cut and pastes. Kind of, yes. I mean, yeah. Because you've got to make sure that second round is hot enough to yes. melt. Oh, yes, as far as that. Yeah, you yeah. want them to bond. Okay, if you did not put this on a hot plate, if you did not get your aluminum warm, and you poured your first layer, then you poured your second layer, then you poured your third layer. When you pull these out of the mold, you can literally turn around, take your first layer, peel it off, your second layer, peel it, because they won't bond. That's what we call cold cracking. If you were to try to put a hook in that and throw it, you're going to have confetti. Your bait's going to literally come apart on your first cast. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> you're going to not be happy with You're not going to be happy with your bait supplier or yourself, one or the other. So, yeah, there's, there's I wouldn't say an art form to it. There's a, there's a method. It's a little bit of a science. Now, if you are not using aluminum, you cannot use a heat plate or a hot plate. So then you've got to use... We've got all heat gun. If you have silicone molds, you cannot heat them on a hot plate. So you literally, before you pour your second color onto your first color, you get your heat gun and you heat that first layer up real quick and you pour it. Same thing for the third layer, fourth layer, however many layers you want to put. 
Yada yada yada. Yada 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 yada. I think Tyler is about to get kicked off. He's like spamming with his on and off, on and off. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> might be because I've got him tagged in the description of the. Oh, might be. Who uh -huh. knows? The... Tyler Boyd's watching. Tyler Boyd's watching. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's counting. Big tournament like coming up. Uh, my, actually, the one I think the next tournament I'm fishing is the Big Bass Bash. I think. It's not really a tournament. It's a, <laughs> Easter it's a bash. shot in the dark. So, I think, for you guys that are tuning in, I think there is a series I am going to fish. It's a new one, if you're in the Ozark area. Bass World Tournaments. Bass World Sports, okay? They are now doing... The tournament series, they just kicked off the first one, Lake of the Ozarks. They got one at Truman. They got one at Palm de Terre. Uh, Smithville, I think, I saw. I will most likely be fishing the one at Truman. Right. Mr. John Neal is on. We're just making swimmies tonight. Right. So this is 376. You want to grab the camera? Sure. We'll show you guys exactly what's going on down in the hole. She's got it. So basically, this is going to be your, your lateral line of the bait, right? Okay, so I'm going to just barely cover what's already in there. I don't know if you guys can see that little bar right there. That is the hook slot. So I poured my first layer to where it just covered that bar right there. So now I'm going to pour the purple over top, and then we'll do the third layer. Which needs to get quick. Hold on just a second. Wet squirrels. Alright, so I'll go ahead and get the third layer cooking so we can heat this, speed this up. So, oh yeah, that's going to look better. I'm going to put just a thin ranger, just a thin level layer of purple over top. I'm going to get it just enough to where it basically reaches out to the outside edge of the mold so you see it. And that's it. Just rinse and repeat. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. You are going to need some heavy duty gloves for this because this shit is hot. <laughs> and yes, try not to breathe it in. Ranger? What's wrong, Pepper? Did Timmy fall down a well? Is there a tornado coming? Uh, no. Yeah, the dog can't take it. No one's paying attention to him. Nobody's paying attention to me, Mom. So there we go. That's that for the middle layer. All right. What size hook do you suggest? Okay, stay tuned. I've got something for you guys on that. I will show you what hook to use and how to rig these. I've got it all set up right over here where you guys can't see it. But I've got one ready to go. And also, ain't that a pretty purple color? Also, I'm gonna show you exactly the jerk bait I used to cash some money the other weekend on Lake of the Ozarks. Boom, how about that? I mean, Jesus, you can't get no better. That, that's qual that's customer service right there. You got in there gripping his hell. These things they happen. These things happen on a big job. So, right now you want to get your third color and put it on there real quick. You do have to wait a little bit, all right? You need that layer to set up a little bit. Because if I take that and I rotate it, the color moves a little bit. So it is still pretty damn liquidy. Mm -hmm. um, we got a question. Where did you get these molds? Which one of molds? Angling AI, six inch open four molds. Yes, young Pepperton. Oh, no, no. On cue. That is our boy, Ranger. How are you? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Wow, you got some energy, don't you? Come on. Yeah. Mom's been training me not to jump on people, and then Dad comes home, and it's all out the window. Yep, pretty much. All right, all right, all right, all right. Not a chewy. Good. The only my ex-girlfriend's got that worked up over me. Oh, there you go. Tyler Boyette is still watching. Did you all see? Does that pop up on your own screen? I got like Tyler Boyette in notifications. That big is, is watching. 
Literally, it's on my screen. That tall. No more tagging Tyler. No more tagging Tyler. <laughs> You're getting help. But we're going to make some six inches. We'll get those off the hot plate. We'll get them cooling off. We'll make some four inches without the hook slot. And all that good stuff. So still, let's just be ballsy and put it in there for a minute. Nope. Tim says it's not showing up on our videos. Yeah, that's fine. It's just good. us. That's probably good. <laughs> okay. Good. Nobody wants to see Tyler's stuff anyways. So, yes. That is very purpley because the first ones I made came out looking like that. And that looks more pink than purple. And that's just not going to fly. So, when we get done with these six inches, I will show you how to rig these uh, and the jerk bait that I got money on. Did I burn your little black book yet? I don't know that Riley had a little black book. Did I burn it? Is that the question? If I burned it. Oh, no. 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 Nah, he got rid of that on his own. <laughs> it won't matter. They hit me up. I don't hit them up. <laughs> Right, so this last color, which I need another knife for. Uh -huh. Keep the color straight. Yes, is black, with some purple, and violet color shift. Now, not the color shift you're thinking about, like dip your car and stuff like that. This Norb's is, on. Norb, good, Norb, you can come in just in time. I'm going to show you guys how to rig one of these swing baits. That's what he said he was interested in. Mm -hmm. All right, so this looks hotter than Hades. And this is the easiest color to pour because now you're basically filling up the mold. This is where it will tell you if your molds, your table is level or not. Mine is not, so I had to put quarters under the hot plate. So there you go. So now, make sure this stuff doesn't move, we basically just fill the molds up. Get that out of the way so I got a nice pouring surface. And also, swim baits are very, you know, usually see through got to make sure that your plastic does not have any air bubbles in it. It'll be pretty obvious if they do. Now this bait is pretty dark. It's got a dark back. It's got pretty heavy purple. So it's not bad. This plastic was already uh, vacuumed a while back. So it's nice. I think Tyler's going to like this. If he doesn't like it, I'll sell it to somebody else. How about that? All right. We've got some other people saying they want to see see how to rig it. How to rig them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a second. When I get done pouring this, I will show you. And Brenda says you're doing amazing stuff all the time. I'm trying to. Keeps me out of trouble, usually. Depends on who you ask. Usually. So... Speaking of jerk bait, all right. If you guys don't know, if you're new to the video, one thank you. Go uh, smash that like button on the Riley Phillips fishing page. Share the videos, all that good stuff helps grow the page. It helps me uh, helps show me what you guys like. But as I was saying, jerk bait caught money in a jerk bait only caught money. Got money in a jerkbait only tournament last weekend on Lake of the Ozarks. And uh, if you want to see that video, go find my YouTube page, Riley Phillips Fishing on YouTube. Subscribe to it, hit the notification bell. I'm going to have a video up this week. I promise. I got the GoPro upstairs. I got to take it with me to work. Edit video. And we will get that uploaded. And you will see exactly how I caught them. I'm not going to edit anything out except for maybe the curse words. Brian Heaton says you never get out of trouble with the misses. You're really not in trouble very often. Nothing I can't get my way out of. You're a pretty good boy most of the time. Oh, mom's here. Says hi, kids. Hi, mom. 
Alright, so I should have done this, turn the griddle off before I started pouring. They are done. Let me I'm gonna do some I wanna see let you guys see the fancy pearls. Here we go, we're back. Ah! Get some good lighting. You can see all the pretty pearls in there. The color shift. Pretty little pattern, all that. Since when do I edit out cuss words? I mean, you got to be a little professional. So, okay, these are going to sit here for just a minute. I'll pull them off and we'll get them cooling off. Up next are the four inchers. And ta da, we are going to do them without a hook slot. All right, normally your hook slot goes right here. We're going to do them without. I want a little more meat in those four inchers. So, we grab our hook slots. We get rid of them. We don't want them. Get out of here. So I will actually go ahead and set these up here on the hot plate. Get them going a little bit. I still got to clamp them together and all that good stuff. So, there we go. We're going to let these set so I can move them here in a second. But first, what you guys are all wanting to see, right? You don't want to see my ugly face. You want to know how to rig these things, right? What is up from Vegas? I spent too much money there. All right, so how to rig six inch swim bait. There's multiple ways to do it, but the most common way to do it is with just a swim bait hook, right? I've got multiple ones here I can show you. Let me angle this camera up just a little bit so you guys can actually see me. This is a 10 aught Swimbait hook. God damn it, it won't stay in my hand. Get an idea. All right, it has a screw lock front that I will show you. Goes right into the head of the bait, and then you rig it. It's almost like a Texas rig. All right, it's pretty damn simple. So I found a swimbait that I don't want to hit my, hit my molds. I found a swimbait that has been in the giveaway pile and. If you guys wonder if red will bleed, all right, this thing looks like a bleeding shad almost, and that's not on purpose. This is was laying in the giveaway box, and I think some red shad was laying on it. There you go. So it kind of looks neat. No, I'm not going to duplicate it. Mr. Mike Chad Daniels logged on. Yo, what's up, man? So, rigging a big ass six inch swim bait. This is a 10 aught owner beast uh, swim bait hook. I've got more of them right here. Now that is one, that's just a hook. You can get them, and I don't have the other third style. All right, you can get a weighted hook, right? Same thing, half ounce weight on the bottom. Typically, if I'm fishing 10 feet or less, straight up hook. If I'm fishing deeper than 10 feet, I'll throw a half ounce on it. Uh, you can get these with what they call an underspin. It's got a little bitty swim bait blade on the bottom. More flash. Gets more attention. But to rig these, take your swim bait, nose your bait, right? That's pretty simple. You put the screw right in the nose of the bait, and you literally thread it on. You will want it pretty straight, and I like to go ahead and run it in just you know as far basically as far as you can so there you go you'll also see the top of this bait it's kind of cupped right usually the faster your swim bait cools down in the mold the more cupping there will be for you bait makers what these baits also have is i was talking about a hook slot you can literally open the belly of this thing up like as if you were gutting a fish whatever you can open that up that is a hook slot and one good reason for that is when a fish bites down on this there's less material that that hook has to fight through in order to expose itself so you would do just that rig it like any other texas rig i'll usually lay the hook here where it's going to go put my finger right here and the nice thing about this swim swim bait it's very transparent i can literally once i get the point through there I can literally see right down through that bait and you'll want to run it right in the middle of the bait. That is very important. 
Because if you don't, it's going to swim crooked. It's going to do loops. It's going to do some weird stuff. So now you can literally see the hook in that swim bait, right? That's it. Now, depending on how you're fishing this, so the top is cupped, right? I can literally pull this hook straight down. And you could call that weedless, right? Nothing's going to grab right there. And I run my finger right across it. No big deal. Or you can do as usual, push the bait forward, stick the tip of the, the hook down in there and skin hook it, whatever you want to call it. You might raise your bait up a little bit. It won't make a big deal in performance. But when that fish comes up and eats it, he's going to pop that hook out. He's going to bite down. You're going to keep reeling. It's going to set the hook. There you go. So that is pretty much how you rig a big swim bait. I mean, there are line throughs, okay, where basically the line goes down through the nose of the bait to a treble hook that's sticking underneath of it. Um, that's a different option. You can YouTube that, look for those options. Um, I'd have to modify my mold in order for that to work, but it is it has been done, it can do it. So this is how I like to rig you know, six inch swim bait. Pretty standard, pretty simple. So there you go, 10 aught owner beast hook. You can run, I've ran a nine, I've run an 11. 10 is just kind of right there in the sweet spot in the middle. Um, probably wouldn't go much over 11. You can run smaller if you want. But these baits have a lot of meat in them. I can't, I can't pull that nose out. All right, no matter, you can see I'm stretching it. It's not coming out. There's a lot of meat up front, which makes these swim baits really good. You can chuck them hard. And the action on these things is awesome. I've had guys that buy them. It's got good tail motion and the whole body just sits here and rocks back and forth. I've thrown them just to look at them. I mean, come on. They look good. So there is how I like to rig six inch swim bait. Money. Boom. You've been reading comments. Are you been doing that? What's your rod and reel? Okay. No, I haven't. I've been trying to make myself look good um rod and reel this is a little bit of weight typically if you've got like a deep diving crankbait rod if you got a pretty big rod medium heavy or a heavy um i throw it on a 7-eleven medium heavy my crankbait rod something i can wing this sucker out there right i don't need it to get down but i want to cover as much water so um six to four seven four on your Reels doesn't have you don't need an 8.3 for any reason. If you burn it too fast, the, you'll actually cancel out the action on the bait. But it's just a nice slow, slow bait. When they come up and hit it, oh, hold the front door. <laughs> They'll jerk the rod right out of your hand. So that is how you rig those. I can feel molds heating up my buttocks. Mm -hmm. I gotta get off those. Okay, so I'm gonna take these, set these off to the side. Use glove, folks. These things are blistering hot. Just a second. We like to multitask around here. Yes, we do. So we will grab another clamp. Start this process all over again. First, before we get too deep, what jerk bait did I cash money on? So we caught them on multiple colors. All right. This one did very good. I'm surprised Mitch the bitch is not watching. Uh, so, plastic drummer that I use for swim baits, I use bait plastics. That is 242. They're ultra clear medium. Um, it's more of a salt water. They call it a medium, but it's harder than your standard worm medium. It's it's nice. I mean, I've that's what I use. It doesn't rip. It doesn't tear. Big fish hit it, hit it. I mean, it's good. It's good stuff. Aquarium to the bait cave so we can see the baits in action. Hey, I don't want to pay that water bill. So everybody's like, what jerk bait did you use? Why a big hook? Six? Is six too small? No, you can use a smaller hook. Just, you know, you don't want the bait so far forward that when they grab the tail, they don't get the hook. Um, somebody was asking about line. If I'm going to use that... I'm going to throw at least 70, 17 pound line, maybe 20. 
fluorocarbon, no braid. Uh, how much weight on the six inch? Up to a half ounce weight on the bottom is what I uh, what I like to use. If you need heavier than that, you got to burn it too fast. You won't get the action. Oh man, that hot plate is <laughs> it's hot. So there you go. Website is baitcave.com. Thank you, Mr. Adams, for putting that. So jerk bait tournament, right? Me and my buddy Mitch cast a check. You'll see the video how we were fishing it, but I want to show you the color we was fishing. This is the exact one. All right, if you if you can see, well, there's some purple on there, like the Ozarks. Mega bass, 110. This thing is beat up. I don't know how there is a bill left on it. The and you'll see in the video, I had a couple fish come off. I wonder why. The front two hooks are missing hooks. All right. Back one's okay. So this one, I'm not going to tell you the exact name of the, of the, of the damn jerkbait, all right? But I'll tell you, you can see the colors on it, all right? It's like a green pumpkin back, pearl white side. The tail, I think, is the ticket has got the purple on it. I was fishing this bait in under four feet of water. If you got out six feet, eight feet, pull it in. You weren't going to catch fish. Those fish were in what we like to call dick deep water. On the video, you might see the big fish literally jump out of the water because it had to. So there you go. This right here, Mega Bass 110. Not the 110 plus one or 110 plus two. I'm sure Tyler knows the name of the color. I'm not going to tell you. It's a weird one. Of course, it's Mega Bass. Um, worked real good. There was another one. There was about three or four different colors that worked. I think, basically, if you got it in front of their face, they were gonna eat it. They were up there to feed. When those fish are that shallow, you did not need to give them a slow 10 second presentation because the water's cold. If they, huh? Oh, are we, am I taking too long? If you were fishing this thing that shallow, they were up there to eat. They were going to eat whatever you put up there. No, I didn't cut the hooks off. I was fishing so shallow, I was catching rocks and breaking them off. So there you go. That's the jerk bait right there in person. I need to shut up and pour the last four swim baits because we need to get the six inches out so you can see what they look like. So there you go. Tennessee Shad? Nope, it's not Tennessee Shad. I need another shot of bang. So there we go. Are these up the temperature? Yes, they are. I can feel them warming my butt up. Ranger, I'm gonna step on you. You got her. Oh, my girl's got it all set. How warm is this? Oh, that's juicy. All right, here we go. Round two, the four inchers. These are a pain in the ass because the hole is a whole lot smaller. She's, see, she's my production manager. She's keeping me busy. Would you shut up and make baits? I know, somebody's got to keep me in line. So there we go. Four one. Yeah, that's funny. These do not have a hook slot in them, so I'm kind of going by reference. We will get to your comments here in just a second. Don't worry. We is making bites. Okay. This is gonna sit for just a second. What we got here? Swim baits on the site. Yes, baitcave.com. Turn the lights off. You'll hit the head. <laughs> Boy, I haven't seen that package show up yet either. Tyler Boyette is watching if anybody's wondering. He's just blowing up everything. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mike. I try to help. If you guys got questions, you know, let me know. Mr. Crane, what's up? Didn't see you log on. You order those swim baits on the site. Mike said, yep. And they told him. 
I do not offer hooks. I do not offer anything like that. Yo, what's up, Mr. Harborstick? The man who loves the big booty, as do I. Mark's going to be sending me a package. All right. Do I use 242 for worms and crawls? No, I do not. I use 212. The infamous 212 blend from baitplastics.com. Everybody asks me, where do you get plastic? Everybody's freaking the F out right now. They can't get plastic. All right. I don't know what happened, but people are at, creeping out or freaking out. They can't get plastic. Yes, you can. There's no problem. Jesus Christ. It's like toilet paper this time last year. I can't get it. We can't get plastic. We can't get plastic. I don't know what's going to happen. Go to baitplastics.com. Order whatever the hell you want. You'll have it in less than a week. Are the pegs all stocked up for a big order? Mm, some of them are. Some of the pegs are stocked. I need to get a hold of them and see when my other things come. That's kind of a never-ending battle. I've got standard colors stocked up. Y'all keep ordering weird shit. Um, Charles says we order six inches right now to be able to get them to shell knob before the bash. Should be. Should be. I think I've got pretty well everything in stock. Yep. And if they're custom? Like this color right here is not on the site. It's not a, it's not a standard color. If you want this one, I got to make it. So, and I'm going to work first thing in the morning. So there you go. Buy the bash. When is the bash? Probably. It's like three weeks out. Mm -hmm. If all else so we can meet you down there. I'll be fishing Truman Lake. Hey, leave in the comments if you're fishing the bash. And two, would you guys like a, like meet and greet whatever we'll meet up at a boat ramp or something y'all can see me in person and go yeah that guy is that ugly so leave a comment if you guys want to meet up i will be staying uh around tightwad is it that area yes around state uh Buxom. long Shoal. around long Shoal. so yeah we're going to be in staying in that area so i will be down there no we're not making we're not making jello shot baits tonight. <laughs> no. How far are you out on orders? We're all caught up right caught now. Up. I think the last badge went to the post office this morning at like 7 o'clock. Yes, I mean, there you go. If you've got it on the shelf, we get it out pretty quick. If it's not on the shelf, depends on work. As everybody knows, it's getting warmer. so um, I, I try to get orders out within a week. How do you order that color now? What are you wanting to call that? So we leave a note. Oh, Tyler, what you want to call this? Uh, typically, you go on the website, you order the six inch swim bait in a color, and then there should be a comment section and say, hey, I want the color you did on the live stream. There you go. Somebody's gonna ask, what do these swim baits go for? As you can see, they're pretty time consuming. They go for six dollars a piece. Jeff Adams says the Boyette special. The Boyette special? <laughs> well, it's only fitting. What? Tackle War should have some tackle named after him. Yeah, he'll be famous. Infamous. I'm famous. I made it big time. I got something named after me. Uh. Let's see what else we got. I got behind on stuff. All right, there we are. Mr. Chris DeVito's on. What's up, boys? What's up, girls? Yo. Sorry we didn't do this last night. I was not even in this state. Yeah, he's going to meet and greet at the bar. <laughs> Jeff Adams says, I'd like to meet up. You better. You're, you're good, Jeff. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> He says your pit vibers haven't shipped yet. I know. That's all good. We're gonna look good. Y'all gonna look something. Hey, yo, Jeff, is the is the missus coming? If you don't know yet, that is just fine. Charles says they're staying damn side on Ozark. Uh Tyler says Ozark special. I've already got Ozark Shad. Call it whatever you want. I ain't your shit. Don't call it. What, what's his name? Tried to call that one color one that night. No. The sea dumpster. No. <laughs> no. 
He says we're Boyette special. I like that. Yeah, you should have one named after you, Tyler. There we go. We got the Boyette special. Um, someone says you're going to Nick's after the bash. Nope. No, we've got I'm staying go. at Truman. How'd you do in the Corvette? You didn't break anything. I so didn't blow fantastic. nothing up. Did freaking phenomenal 167 miles an hour every lap on the back stretch at Circuit of the Americas. Aw, no. Porsche, it's what's for dinner. Boom, boom, boom. Lapping them and clapping them. I hope this doesn't scorch this. There's not much plastic in there. No, we're good. Alright, Chris DeVito says when you want to come saltwater fishing, let him know. Yeah, trolling or kite fishing or something like that. We did that uh, last year. Didn't have much luck, but we did it. We can say that we did it. We did it. It'll be more fun when I'm there. Oh, you're going? Yeah. I got to Back, know. Ranger. I got to know what I got to cook for dinner. Yeah. layer of these little four inch swim baits is a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Little bit of swimmies. Tim says he should be a top fan. I have no idea how that works. You gotta, I don't know how that works. I don't designate that. That's something Facebook does. Uh, jogging for flounder, trolling for striper, tuna, mahi. Oh, you wanna go tuna fishing? I wanna go tuna fishing. I like tuna. Maybe. I like tuna too. <laughs> I'm not going to say it lives in the ocean. It, it smells like stuff. the ocean. Oh, there's a pineapple under the sea. Oh, jigging for flounder. Oh. You can do that. You know how to jig. I know how to dance a jig. You know how to jig a jig. Skip a jig. Do a jig. That last jig. one looks like jig. <laughs> <laughs> Look how hard you guys still watching. Y'all crazy. Any secret? Crappy cooking recipes. Got to catch them first. <laughs> That's the secret. You got to eat them. Got to catch them. Got to clean them right. All right. So. Gotta fry them deep. Fry them deep. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> what the hell, Bobby? Makes them taste better. I'm gonna see if those six inches are ready. Back, maybe. Good, the happy, happy and cool. Coolish. <laughs> Tyler says, "Am I still watching?" Yes, repeatedly. Yes, it shows that you're like every thirty seconds. Tyler Boyette's watching. <laughs> Tyler Boyette's watching. Guess what? <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Boyette's, Boyette's watching. watching. <laughs> now, what I did with these, I do not normally do. I do not recommend. But since we are on a live stream, blah 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 blah, I basically gave these a water bath. Now not that big of a deal. Yes, it makes the top of the bait suck in pretty hard. That's how you get that cavity. But the big thing is these molds have steel guide pins in them. Steel and water. Okay. Rust. Not good. Make sure you get it clean. Doesn't hurt the mold. Doesn't hurt the plastic. All that sort of stuff. Normally, I lay these on cooling plates. Let them sit there for 30 minutes good to go. So what does the Boyette special look like? Oh yeah, there's purple. There is purple. A lot of purple. It's very purple. As you guys saw on the, I don't know if those color shift will show up or not. So there you go. The Boyette special. Boom. Give that a thumbs up. Probably go a little blue in that purple, make it pop just a little bit more, but it'd be alright. That will catch. That will catch. Shiny, shiny. Very shiny. Do they make swim bait injection molds? Yes, they do. I 
your little Kitex? Yes, they do. 3.8, 3.8, 4.8, 5.8. Are they significantly more difficult to get this triple color in though? You need a triple injector. Yeah, they like those. Yes, yes, yes. Looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. Glimpses are sexy. Pretty. Pretty. The same thing. Usually these swim baits you need to lay out for at least 24 hours, if not longer. They've got quite a bit of the plastic is thick in them. So yep. looking, that thing is all baked to hell. Right, it's got fish marks, it's got rock marks on it, it's jerk bait. It's missing hooks. It's missing hooks. <laughs> Typically you break the bills off of them. All right, those, those mega passes go for $25 a piece. I mean, that bill's beat all the hell. Yes, it's beat like, all the hell. you smacked it. Yeah, I was fishing it four foot of water. Well, them other ones you buy, you like throw them in there and they look at a rock and the bill breaks off. So. Yeah. <laughs> They're good. Ordered four and four of what you made tonight. Oh boy. I'm glad you still got plastic. <laughs> I got some, I don't got a lot. Wonder if those would work in the Arkansas River. Well, y'all, yeah. no. they're really gonna work. Baitcave.com. <laughs> I don't know. I went over the Arkansas River today. Dylan Strouder says make some for this man, my boy. Baitcave.com. Baitcave.com. Hey, if you guys want them, you gotta place an order. So there you go. Yep. So just order a. Whatever size swim bait you want in a random color, and then in the comments section when you go to check out, call make sure it you the put Boyette them there. Special, the Tyler Special, the Boyette Special, whatever you want to call it. Homeboy wanted them. Homeboy's gonna get them. These are Tyler's right here. Actually, you wanted twelve of the four inches, didn't you, Tyler? Ah, I hate you. <laughs> oh, Mike says, and you have a hard bait guy. You do. Yep. Yeah. You want some hard baits, some jerk baits, some some uh, crank baits? I know a guy. Those are pretty. Yeah, they're What's pretty. I, th I, I think told him I said I didn't, I didn't throw them because they were too pretty. He's like, throw them sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty. I was like, these need to be on display. To be very honest, color. I've very I've never thrown a one ten plus one or a one ten plus two. It's always been RC sticks or. Mega Bass 110s. What does the 110 stand for? Tyler, tell our lovely folks. Do you know what 110 stands for? No. Millimeters. That's how long the bait is. 110 millimeters. I need that little star banner. The more you know. <laughs> just flash across the screen. Yep, Tyler put it on there. Length? Mm -hmm. yes. Told you. Told you. Tyler, tell our friends what they have won. Oh, so. Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> so the 110 plus one is. So 110, no, well, 110 plus one. Tyler can correct me here, I don't know. The 110, the plus one means it, it's a little deeper. The plus two means it goes a little deeper. I think the overall length of the bait is still the same. The bill is longer. Cool. Randy Evans says he's throwing some on the chick this weekend. Is that Chickamauga? Chickamauga, Chickamauga, big old fish. Big old fish. You know what? It sounds like I need to make more. So. You're showing your age. Me? With the more you know. They need to bring those back though. Reading rainbow shit. Yeah, yeah. They still do those every now and then. Ah, that's all right. Cancel culture. We'll get that here pretty quick. I guess we're going to make another batch. You are? Do we have orders? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Actually, I do have to do some stuff upstairs. But we'll get them made. Don't worry. When will we get them made? What time is it? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. There you go. Longer bill gets deeper. Yep. I didn't know. So I think the 110 is 4 to 6 feet. The plus 1 is 5 to 8. I think the plus 2 is 8 to 12. Something like that. 
right on the Magic School Bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to comment on that one. I've seen videos called that. Paul Kid, you gave me the number of deep crank lures last year at Nix for the straight. Yep. BB and J, be a good one. Thursday night or start this week. Okay, if you're in the Lake of the Ozarks area, Thursday night, I think from 6:30 to 10, Kaufman Ramp. They, uh, you know, evening tournaments every Thursday, and that'll go till October, I think, end of September. There you go. Ten pound test. <sighs> I mean, yeah, that's what they're rated on. I throw, okay, jerk bait. I throw mine on 12 pound. I throw my wiggle warts on stuff on 12 pound. Usually I'm uh, up there banging rocks, so I want a little stiffer line because I break them off. Now, in the video, I'll get specific about how these are weighted, rigged, thrown, all that sort of stuff. This one here, since I was fishing so shallow, does not have any added weight to it. Da, 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 da. I've never seen much of a hard plastic kind of guy. I'm a big soft plastic person. Yeah, I, it's all got its time. And I'll throw whatever the fish want, basically, is where I'm at. I didn't like jerk baits two years ago. I, now I won money on them. So if you don't like something, throw it. Mike Chad Daniels, link me up with your hard bait guy. Mike. The other Mike is a hard bait guy. Table Rock sucked ass Sunday. I was in Austin. So there you go. Yeah, okay. I got uh, I got stuff on the wall I didn't even mention. All right, I'm trying to make a list. I'm trying to look professional. So if you're a new viewer, thank you. Make sure to share the video. Like, go like the Riley Fields fishing page. I mentioned the Bass World Tournaments, all right? They got one on Lake of the Ozarks, Truman Lake, Palm de Terre, and I believe Smithville over in Kansas City. Look those up, Bass World uh, online. I think everybody wanted to do a meetup. We'll see that again. Uh, I don't think the four inch swim baits are ready to come out just yet. I showed you guys how to rig the swim baits. If you want to see how to rig these, okay, once the live's over, go back and I've got that on there. Uh, I'll have my video up of the jerk bait. You see it one last time that I won money on. That's one of four that we threw. And also, yes, if you want to see the video on the jerk bait tournament, Go find Riley Phillips Fishing on YouTube. Dinner time. Peace out. Yo, yep, go get something to eat. We just ate. And uh, I got to get ready for work. I got to be back up at 4.30 again. Go to work. So, we done for tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in on Monday. We'll do this again next Sunday. Normal standard time unless something weird happens like I win a tournament. I guess it's Easter. Next Sunday's Easter, isn't it? I'll be making baits. It's good. So that is it for us tonight. I got to go get ready for work. All that good crap. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to go like the uh, Riley Phillips fishing page. Share uh, share the page. Share it out. And uh, if you guys are fishing the bash, reach out to me. Let's go have a meetup. We'll go do dinner or something. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you like the tips and tricks on some of the swim bait stuff like that. If you want to see more of that, let me know. We are out. Peace. I didn't hit the button. Hit the button.